Hello everyone, I am Amika Sirkar, a student pilot from Bombay Flying Club and today I am back with a new video and the most requested video I will say because each time I open my DMs or check my mails, I used to get this topic. So the topic is how to become a pilot after your 12th. So let's explain it in detail. So let's start with the video. So once you are done with your 10th boards, get yourself into the science stream. Basically in 11th and 12th, you need to take the PCM, which is a physics chemistry maths. But in aviation field, the only thing which matters is your physics and maths. So once you are done with your 12th boards, then comes the period called 12th ke baad wala vacation. So in that we have many plans. Hum yahan ghoomna hai. We need to do these activities. But I am not telling you to stop all these activities or cancel all your plans. But this is the correct time to do your homework. Which is, aapko kaha se apne ground schooling complete karni hai. Kaha se aapko apna flying complete karna hai. Ye sab research ke liye, this time is the best. So aapko research kaise karna hai basically. You need to get in touch with the current students who are already flying or who are already studying in that ground classes for institute. So get in touch with them, ask them ki ye kaisa hai institute, teachers kaise hai wahan ke and you need to know all the things before you get your admission done in that particular institute. Ye sab procedures karne ke baad, if you have made your mind that you are getting your admission done in this particular institute, then find out if there is any entrance exam in that institute. Like IGDUA has an entrance exam but Bombay Flying Club doesn't. So if you are planning to get into IGDUA then you need to prepare a certain syllabus. Us syllabus ke uber ek entrance exam dena hoga aapko and then your admission will be finalized. So get that preparation done during that vacation after your 12th. So once these steps are done then comes the confusion wala part. That is the class 1 and the class 2 medical. So most of all are asking me that which one we need to do first, which one is valid for what. So let me clear all the things. So at the initial stages, when you go to the institute mein admission, lene jate ho, they mostly ask for the class 2 medical. Okay? So if you are doing the class 2 medical at the initial stages, there is no harm. But if you are planning for class 1 at the initial stage, still there is no harm. Because you will be on a safer side, you will be totally fit ho for this field. So basically, hum, you know, class 1 tabhi karwate hain jab hum flying ke liye jate hain ki that we are ekdam totally done with the exams, sab kuch clear hai hamara. So then for flying, your class 1 is mandatory. That time your class 2 doesn't work. For ground classes and for all the DGCA ka exams and all, class 2 is very good. Okay. But during the flying, you need your class 1. So I hope I have cleared all the doubts about the class 1 and the class 2 medical. So the next topic which we are going to come across is the computer number. So computer number is allotted by DGCA and that number will remain with you for the rest of your life. And it is a permanent number without which you can't attempt any of the DGCA papers. So that is mandatory. Now how to apply for that computer number? So basically there is a website of DGCA. Uh, it is pariksha.dgca. In that you will find a manual in which each and every procedure, the documents required, in what format, in what size, everything is listed down. So just go through the manual and you can apply for the computer number and hope so you will get your computer number. So once you are done with this computer number, then talking about the ground classes. So if you have taken admission in any ground classes, then over there you will get to learn subjects like technical general, navigation, meteorology, regulations. So if you think that your concepts are pretty clear, then start attempting your DGCA papers. So if you are lucky enough and you have studied hard, then definitely you will clear it in your first attempt. But if you think that I am not prepared, I need more time, then do take your time and then attempt the papers. And some of you all were asking me that is ground classes really necessary or we can do it by our own. So it's just a suggestion. I will suggest you to take a ground class because uh, the portion which we studied in our 12th and 10th, nothing is related to this aviation portion. So, you know, simple uh, plus minus division wala maths will be there in navigation and rest all things are new. 
but it is very interesting and you'll get a lot of knowledge so better to take a ground classes and if you're planning to do it by your own there is no harm in it but the thing is you will have to really work hard for it you have to make your own notes and there are certain topics जिसके ऊपर YouTube में भी आपको वीडियोस नहीं मिलेंगे सो दैट टाइम यूल फेस डिफिकल्टीज बट इन ग्राउंड क्लासेस एवरीथिंग विल बी यू नो स्पून फिटिंग लाइक नोट्स आपको मिलने वाले हैं यूल गेट द प्रॉपर गाइडेंस यूल गेट दी यू नो कौन से टाइप क्वेश्चन आने वाले हैं एग्जाम में सो एवरीथिंग विल बी सर्व इन द प्लेट यू विल जस्ट हैव टू ग्रैप द अपॉर्चुनिटी एन ई टू दैट्स इट वंस यू आर डन विथ ऑल योर डी टी सी ए पेपर्स देन अगर आप फ्लाइंग के लिए प्लान कर रहे हो so you need to give the SPL exam which is the student pilot's license जो कि बहुत ही ईजी एग्जाम होता है उसमें आपको बेसिक क्वेश्चन पूछे जाते हैं जो आप आसानी से क्लियर कर लोगे एंड देन यू हैव टू पे अ सर्टन अमाउंट और आपके पास कभी क्लास वन में डेटरी होना चाहिए एंड देर आर सम लिस्ट ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स विच यू नीड टू हैव अगर ये सब आपके पास है देन यू आर गुड टू फ्लाई फिर आप फ्लाइंग ट्रेनिंग के लिए चले जाते हो देन एट फर्स्ट इनिशियल स्टेज पे कुछ घंटे आपको इंस्ट्रक्टर के साथ फ्लाई करना रहता है ठीक है एंड वंस द इंस्ट्रक्टर इज कॉन्फिडेंट इनफ टू गिव यू द सोलो फ्लाइट फिर आपको वो सोलो दे देंगे एंड वंस योर सोलो इज डन देन यूल गेट योर विंग्स ओवर योर सो वी ऑल स्टूडेंट पैलेस वेट फॉर दैट डे वेन यूल गेट आर विंग्स सो वंस यू डू योर सोलो यूल गेट द विंग्स एंड फिर उसके बाद आपको टू हंड्रेड आवर्स ऑफ फ्लाइंग कंप्लीट करनी होगी टू गेट योर सी वंस योर सी पी एल इज डन मतलब लाइसेंस मिलने के बाद फिर आपको करनी रहती है टाइप रेटिंग सो नाउ वॉट इज टाइप रेटिंग आई एक्सप्लेन यू इन सिंपल वर्ड्स लाइक इन एयरलाइन वी डोंट फ्लाई सेसनास वी फ्लाई अ बिग एयरक्राफ्ट सो वो बिग एयरक्राफ्ट को फ्लाई करने की ट्रेनिंग हमें इस टाइप रेटिंग में दी जाती है सो साइमिलेटर रहता है उसमें हमें बेसिक जो भी चेक्स फॉलो करने रहते हैं जो भी हमें प्रोसीजर्स फॉलो करने रहते हैं कैसे उड़ाना है प्लेन को वो सब पूरी टेक्निक्स हमें टाइप रेटिंग में समझाई जाती है अब टाइप रेटिंग हमें किसमें करनी है वो कम्प्लीटली आपके ऊपर डिपेंड करता है कि आपको एयरबस में करनी है बोइंग में करनी है आपको जो उड़ाना है आप उड़ाओ बोइंग उड़ाओ एयरबस उड़ाओ जो भी करना है आप उसमें टाइप रेटिंग कर लो आपके पास लाइसेंस आ जाती है कि आप टाइप रेटेड हो फिर आप एयरलाइन के लिए अप्लाई कर सकते हो एंड देर इज अ सेकेंड ऑप्शन ऑल्सो सो so, अगर आपको सी पी एल के जस्ट बाद टाइप रेटिंग नहीं करनी है आपको अपना सिलेक्शन करवाना है किसी एयरलाइन में फिर जाके करना है दैट इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल लाइक बेसिकली समझो एयर इंडिया ने वेकेंसी रिलीज की है कि नॉन टाइप रेटेड पायलट्स को भी हम हायर करने वाले हैं आपने उसमें अप्लाई किया है यू गॉट सिलेक्टेड आपका इंटरव्यू हो गया एंड यू गॉट द जॉब फिर आपको वो एयरलाइन वाले बोलेंगे कि आपको समझो कि एयर इंडिया में बोइंग है सो so, आपको बोइंग पे टाइप रेटिंग करके आना है so then once your job is finalized you are going for the type rating ab type rating karne ke baad job ke liye joining ke liye aa jate ho so there is a second option also which you can do so i have explained the whole procedure like after 12 what you need to do till you get the job basically and i don't think so kisi bhi youtuber ne itna detail acha video banaya hoga kya bola tune Jokes apart, but I hope you all have gained some knowledge and you all have an idea now what to do after twelve. Because I have given all the knowledge which I had, and but still, if you have any doubts, you can mail me on my email ID or get in touch with me on my Instagram. So I'll try to clear all your doubts and whatever videos you all want, like informative videos. So do type in the comments. I'll try to post videos related to that topics. So I hope you find this video helpful and do subscribe and like my channel bye bye take care